Hi, it's Alex from laughingplace.com here today with Moxie Pung, director of The Little Princes uh, from the Disney Launchpad program on Disney+. Plus. Hi, Moxie. Congratulations on your short being released. Hi, Alex. Thank you. I was curious to know, what is the inspiration behind uh, The Little Princess? Yeah, The Little Princess is a story that is uh, based on what happened to me when I was a child. Uh, I was like feminine. I'm uh, sorry. I was like Gabriel. I was uh, like, I like pink and into feminine stuff. Uh, and then I became friends with my neighbor, um, uh, and his dad started to like have a problem with me. And one day he came over to our dinner table and um, told my dad that I was not normal and I need to be uh, fixed. <coughs> Sorry, fixed. Um, so I felt really heartbroken. I uh, went to cry and <laughs> my dad stood up for me and told him that he loved me uh, for who I am. And if I like books and art and, you know, princess, it's okay. So that moment really stayed with me and I inspired me to tell the story about how we should learn to stay open-minded and stay curious uh, when we see someone who is different from us instead of jumping into a judgment Absolutely. Yeah, it was, it was beautiful. Um, child actors were essential to telling this story. What was it like casting and working with the kids who played Gabriel and Rob? Yeah, it was really fun to cast them. Um, like, I think, you know, we had a really difficult time looking for Gabriel um, because we want this very specific Chinese American kid who is like seven, who has the sensibility of understanding difficult emotions, uh, <laughs> who can be a little feminine. And we really searched like national wise and we found this kid named Kalo Moss and he's amazing. He, um, we immediately loved him. Um, he really like pulled off like everything like laughing crying and he can act with his eyes uh, which is really beautiful and really really precious um and then we have rob um we were looking for this like sort of non um sort of more conventionally masculine kid who is like new to the u.s who is also chinese american and so for me that I want to bring that freshness and naiveness of this character to screen. So we really looked into a lot of talents, um, but a lot of kids have this like sort of performing nature when they are on camera. And so it's hard for us to find someone who's natural. Uh, I went through a friend who happened to know Rob's parents and he introduced me to Rob's parents and that's how we met him. And he is really natural. He is like only a few, he only moved here a few years ago. So he's like perfect for the character. Uh, so we basically just like spent a lot of time and energy casting for the perfect kids. And once we found them, everything else is very easy. They understand the story. They came very prepared. They know all the lines. <laughs> Their parents are great teachers for them. They told them the story really well. So when they came on set, they were just amazing. So they were just basically being themselves. Um, and we're just recording them being themselves. <laughs> well, they did a great job. Um, I wanted to ask about the food in the film. It plays a critical role, um, not only in the, in the, the dinner scene um, that you talked about being very personal, but also there's a scene where Rob um, kind of feels ashamed and, and othered by, the, by his peers with his food. Um, I was curious to know if there's a deeper significance to those moments in the story that, that center around food and um, culture. Yeah, um, there is definitely, I think for me personally, when I revisit the traumatic um, event that happened to me when I was a kid, I was at dinner, I was eating. And the fact that I was so sad, I couldn't swallow the food because my throat was covered by tears. And like, it was just like 
really hard. I was, you know, basically choked, right? And I couldn't swallow. And I, I realized that like humans are really interesting. We have tears. And when we have tears, our throats tighten and we can't eat anymore. It's like, you have to be happy to eat. And, and when you're grieving, you lose the ability to eat. Um, so I think food to me, it's not just like a, you know, it is an important prop. It is significant for Rob's story as uh, he was authored by, by his classmate because he eat Chinese food who, which may have a strong smell um, and his classmates were mocking him. But it is the same type of grief that one felt when they were feeling othered and not appreciated that made them both stop eating. I think that is also a sort of like a bridge between the two kids. They both face difficulty and they both happen to have this difficult moment when they're eating. So I think I'm like trying to connect them uh, with this imagery as well. Great, well, thank you so much for your time, Moxie. Everybody, you can check out uh, the, the Little Princess on Disney Plus under the Disney Launchpad section. And uh, I hope you check it out. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Take care, bye. Thank you.